So here uh, is what we have so far, I think. I did uh, kind of change the, the colors of my H1, even though I hate using the same font that we grabbed with uh, at FontFace. Um, but we are going to focus just on the uh, unordered list right now. So um, right now I have an unordered list, and I think I have a couple different things. I have a background color of gray. Um, I have a width of 220 pixels, and I think I'm floating it left, uh, which means um, that this part is coming up right beside it. So we're just going to work on the unordered list in this video. Uh, to go into uh, Text Wrangler, again, here's my... Here's my unordered list uh, in the CSS up above uh, in between the style tags. And I'm saying, hey, we have an unordered list. Have, have the open and close curly brackets. And then right now, here's the close curly bracket. And then I have three things, a laundry list of stuff that we're doing so far to the unordered list to design it. Um, again, a width of 220 pixels. I'm floating it left, which opens up the right side of it to hold the... Uh, the image and the paragraphs of text, that box, uh, that div called box right there. And then I have a background color, I just kind of made it up I think, of uh, kind of a darker gray. So we're gonna add some things to it to make it look better. First of all, if you look at the, uh, let me see if I have it here. If you look at this here, you see you have all the uh, uh, underlines. Notice the text is small, notice it's not, um, being clicked, so I can't click out here, okay? But it has those black dots, those list style dots. So we're gonna tell the, the text to be bigger. We're also gonna get rid of these black dots, and we're gonna start to design it. Now, some of the design for this stuff, because of the clickable links, which is the A tag, we're gonna do a lot of designing in some respect uh, with the A tag later on, but right now, just the unordered list. We're going to add some things. So I'm going to go back to my coding and I'm going to add to the unordered list, uh, the laundry list of stuff, excuse me, what we're going to do. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the, the font to something that's more readable, I think. And I'm going to go with Verdana, which is a very clean, readable text. So the the type of text, the type of font that it is, is going to be Verdana. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to say we're going to get rid of those black dots. So I'm going to say list dash style colon none, and it gets rid of the, those black dots. And let me let me reload the page here. So now the t the font has changed. It's not gotten bigger, but we've gotten rid of those black dots with that one line list dash style. Okay, it's starting to look uh, better. So I'm gonna add to the laundry list in between the curly brackets, and I'm gonna say margin dash left 45 px. And what that's gonna do is, it's gonna move the unordered list 45 pixels from the left-hand side of our page. So I'm gonna save that, here's our thing, and watch, when I update it, this unordered list is gonna move over to the left. So um, I'm going to reload it. Let's see how that moves over. That's that one line, margin dash left. Okay. Now, notice it's close to the box holding the image and stuff. Now we're going to make a margin on the right of so many pixels and it'll move the box over uh, to the right and create some empty space. So I'll do that next. So we're going to say margin dash right of 50 px we'll try that okay and now when i when i do it oh move the image over okay well i gotta figure out what's going on there um okay let me get rid of that line there's another way to do this that might be better um, okay, so we're also going to say padding colon, and padding is space inside the unordered list of zero. So there's not going to be empty, any empty space. We can say zero inside the, inside the unordered list. Uh, border, none. 
you don't really have to put this. Um, and then um, we're gonna say this is this is one of the big ones. Font dash size uh, one hundred and fifty percent. I could use pixels, but I'm gonna use percentage. So whatever is normal for unordered list text size, it's gonna be one and a half times normal, whatever normal is. So normal is probably 12 points, maybe 10. And I'm gonna save it and then go back to here to reload it, okay? So it's starting to look a little bit better, okay? And let me, um, now um, the next thing we're gonna do is, sorry, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring up the unordered list. See how I want this. I want this top line of the unordered list right here to be the same height. So I'm going to guess at minus 30 pixels. So I'm going to say margin dash top minus 30 pixels. And hopefully it should move it up um, and get in line with that. So let me try that. So I'm going to add one more line here. In between the curly brackets, margin dash top colon minus 30 px. We'll see if that works. Ah, way too much. Okay, so I'll say uh, minus. Let me just say minus 10. Let's see what happens there. Okay, maybe zero would work. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Yes. So zero, and it's all lined up uh, nice and neat. So now they're all kind of together. Okay. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is, while I'm on this, uh, I'm all done with, believe it or not, with the unordered list. But I want to move this H, whatever this is, right here. See how it's not over the unordered list? I want to say margin dash left, and I want to move this thing over to the right a little bit. So I'm going to go to um, that H tag, probably H4. And I'm going to add one more line inside the curly brackets. And I'm going to say margin dash left uh, 20px. This might be too much, but let me see. And that should move it over. See how it moved it over a little bit. So you want it kind of, you know, on top of that because they kind of they kind of go by, uh, hand in hand. Also, let me move it down, and I'm just going to add margin dash top. I think um, fifth, let's say 20px. This might be too much. Let's see what happens there. Uh, hmm. Okay. I'll leave that until we're all done designing here. Okay. All right. So. Um, actually, I can I can do this. Let's see if let's see if I can do this. Let's say margin dash bottom colon minus uh, fifteen px. Let's see if that sucks everything up to it. Way too much, but it did. So I'm gonna say. Okay, so I actually have to add some to that. It's way too tight. Uh, let's say 10. Margin dash bottom. Okay, see how it's just kind of moving it in pixel increments? So that is designing it. So um, we are done with the unordered list, and we're done with the H4 uh, for now. I think we're in good shape. And again, you should have something like that. The next thing we're going to do is work with the list item, just a couple different things. And then the big one is the A tag. And we're going to move this, this text in. We're going to make this whole area 
uh, clickable. So the whole area, this whole horizontal area for each link is going to be clickable. So um, we'll do that in the next video. Thanks.